Hello. In this video, we're going to be talking about painting portraits with acrylics. For me, the benefit of painting with acrylics, number one, is it's just easy to set up. Easy to set up, easy to take down. I just like the ease. I think it's a really, really vibrant medium. So over the years, I've painted with a load of different types of brushes. Um, some really, really expensive brushes, some cheap brushes, but for me, my favorite, favorite type of brush, um, and I won't go back, I won't change this now, is um, rosemary brushes. I paint with a whole range of rosemary brushes, and I just find that the, the quality, number one, is second to none. Really is absolutely tip top, top not. I can't rate them highly enough. They hold the paint really, really well, and they are just a pleasure to paint with. So um, I'm gonna link to Rosemary in the description. Have a research, have a little look, start with, get, find a nice starter set, and just, well, I think, once you've had a, a experience with rosemary brushes, you're not going back. These are quality, quality brushes. They are a little bit more expensive, but they are, you get what you pay for with regards to these, okay? So make, I'll make sure you look after them. Really important that you clean them well. I'm sure that there's going to be some traditionalists uh, that are going to rally against this, but um, to be honest, I don't care. I used to paint at home all the time and the kids were around and it just meant that I couldn't leave things out. So I got into the habit of using these tear off. Um, it's just an example of one I got here from uh, Amazon. Um, it's tear off palettes. I absolutely love these. I think they're really, really easy to kind of, you know, you, you finish, you're done, you rip it off, it's over you go about your I day. I don't use the wet palette for the acrylic or anything like that. I've not really experimented with that. Um, and now that this, I've got the studio, that's probably something that I can do. And if you... I paint with two different types of paint, with Winsor Newton professional quality paint. So this, this one here, all right, Winsor Newton. And I also paint with Kryler paint as well, all right? So it's Kryler and Winsor Newton. Um, I love the Winsor Newton, particularly the titanium white. It, 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 the titanium white is just such a pleasure to paint with, with the Winsor Newton. It's, it really, really is. I've painted over the years with a variety of different types of acrylic paint. But for me, the Winsor Newton is absolute quality um, I've not really used a Galleria or anything like that but like for me I, I just love the professional it's my mindset <laughs> but uh, you know it's just it's just a good quality paint you do you have to be careful with paints as well you do get what you pay for um, in terms of pigment and things like that so if you're buying cheaper paints and you're wondering why you're not getting the same results as other artists who are using better quality paints that's one of the reasons why okay because the paint that you're using doesn't have as high a pigment as the paint that the quality the artist is using which are quality paints okay so you do get what you pay for um i'm not saying that you shouldn't just experiment with cheap paints at the start that is zero problem of course you should but once you start to really develop a style and you start to get an understanding of what you want to do then switch up buy something quality again links in the description below for these guys here so this is my palette for portrait paint here we have titanium white yellow ochre ultramarine blue and raw umber those four are Winsor Newton professional paint and this one here is Venetian red. This is my absolute number one favorite color, to, red color to use to make skin tones. I just really think it creates realistic skin tones. Now, using this reduced palette really does challenge you to be able to mix the correct colors. One little tip, ladies and gentlemen, that is absolutely vital. Make sure in between the changing of the colors that you clean your brushes and you get it nice and clean to start afresh. If you don't, you're gonna end up with a muddy mess, okay? 
we all get involved and we all enjoy the process and we just sometimes forget, but you must be disciplined with this. You must keep it fresh. Your paintbrush needs to be fresh and it needs to be on it, okay? It needs to be clean. If you don't, you are gonna make it muddy and it is gonna be a problem. You can create such a mixture, such a blend of colors here with these five, okay? You will be surprised. Just experiment. Remember, you're not create, you're not setting out to create a masterpiece. You are setting out to paint and therefore have fun and therefore be able to just chill and relax and make something magical and wonderful. Okay? If you pr if you pr push yourself, you will. If you do it every day, you paint every day. If you work hard, you will get better. So have fun mixing the different colors together. You know, it's just see what happens when you mix your white and your red boom there what happens what 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 changes if i add more red more white and and adding a little bit of blue just pin, and oh, another bit of device this one here is a wonderful wonderful color it's lovely when you mix it with titanium white okay mix it creates a really beautiful color when you mix it with ultramarine and raw umber with a little bit of white it makes a wonderful gray color but it can also make your make your paintings a little bit lifeless if you overindulge with raw umber. So be careful. Don't do too much raw umber, kids. All right. Just say no. Thank you. Just some things that I've learned over the years when painting with acrylics. One thing, keep it wet, keep it moving. Acrylics have a, um, they're quite notorious for drying quite quickly, although that can be quite fun to use, um, that kind of quick drying to blend, 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 and you know, keeps you on your toes. If you keep it wet, then it does, you do have, extend the life of that paint a little bit and you are able to move it around a little bit. Once you apply it on the canvas though, it can dry quite quickly, so you must plan ahead. That's my second tip. Start big, start broad with your paintings. Put in broad layers of different tones. Use that to kind of build up your form. And then once you get that all right and done and ready, then you can start to be bang in the detail. My final tip, and this is really important, so write this down. Have fun, enjoy your painting. It doesn't matter if you're doing it for three, four, five hours straight, or just half an hour because you could, your kids are coming home in a bit and you've got half an hour, so ha! Just have fun, okay? Don't set out to create a masterpiece because you might be disappointed. If you just enjoy the process and every painting gets better and better and better, that's genius. That's a really, really good way to live with regards to your painting, your drawing, your art, all right? So have fun. Number one, a bit of advice which came in at number three, but you follow me. All right, thanks. <laughs>